My Nigerian people want to visit Ghana. They want to have a taste of Ghana. They want to come and sit down and you know take pictures in Ghana and showcase to people I am in Ghana. I have arrived though. Like wow, wow. Is this Ghana? Is this Ghana? Is this Ghana? Am I in South Africa? I have been to Ghana. I am in Ghana. That is hmm. So guys, and I want to also show a video <laughs> with you guys of a Nigerian lady, the first time she came to Ghana, what she had to say because she was surprised to see how beautiful the street of Accra looks like. So surprised to see that this is Accra and she was literally screaming, screaming at the top of her voice, this is Accra, Accra is beautiful. See, there's one expectation, a lot of foreigners come, when they come down here to Ghana, there's something they expect to see in Ghana. But when they come down here to Ghana, they're actually shocked and surprised to see that this is Ghana. Just like this Nigerian lady, she was just screaming at the top of her voice that this is Ghana, this is Accra, I am going to the market, this is me here in the taxi. You know, life in Ghana is actually very, very smooth, but to make money is not easy. So if you're thinking of coming to Ghana, just have a lot of money, have a business you're coming down here to do, don't come to Ghana here and think money will fall from heaven to you. It does not happen anywhere in the world. So though, Ghana is not exceptional. So when you come to Ghana here, have something to do, have a business you want to do. And so you don't get stuck and be like those people coming here shouting, Ghana is not a place to stay, don't come to Ghana, Ghana is difficult, people of Ghana will extort you. Don't be like those people because they didn't come here planned. Most of those people come down here to Ghana on plan because they don't have any job they are doing here. They just bring money from wherever they are coming from. And once the money is exhausted, they will begin to say bad things or negative things about Ghana. But if you have something that you're doing, if you have a business or you're working, then you can be able to enjoy it. Ghana is one peaceful country. Is uh, In fact, Ghana is peaceful. If you want your peace, if you're looking for a country to come and have your peace, I think Ghana is just one country you should visit and have your peace of mind. We are going on vacation, think Ghana. You're going on vacation, think and think and rethink and think about Ghana because this lady's reaction is totally, totally out of this world. Let's watch our video. We need to watch. Now Ghana we did go see the streets of Ghana. We are in a crowd. Yeah, I'm, I'm not your mate. Am I your mate? Ele. Eh? Me and you we they do mate. Kante. South Africa. She says she's now a South Africa. She's now a mate of in Ghana, abroad of Nigeria. <laughs> I, I did it intentionally. <laughs> you don't give, you don't even if I pay you muche. You just give me by your brain. If I pay muche now, Ghana is giving us this South African vibe. Don't talk about it. Ah, that's all. Oh my, we don't talk about that too. Car, see national theater, not be small thing. Wow. We're not gonna lose. Our hotel is very popular. No, our hotel is popular. Any driver where you tell Miss Kipikis Hotel, Kim Pisky Hotel. One day, I'm going to like that. If I were to have Kim Pisky Hotel. Ah. But you know, I, I asked his brother, his brother said, yeah, okay. All right, guys, it's moving to o'clock. So, we are going down to the market of Accra, Ghana. What's the name of the market again? Ad Center. Ad Center. Ho -ho, let's go and shop some money. Mama, you know, I, I, I will see you Why not? If not, this one day they, they speak too much grammar. Oh, my, see Ghana money, see Ghana CDs, see Ghana CDs, see CDs. Hey, hope your mind is now Madam CDs, Madam Cash, Madam Cash. Oh, my, this small money now, 300k. This small money, why I carry now, 300,000 naira. This small thing now, why I carry when I reach like 30 leaves now, 300,000. No, nothing happened. Please, a minute. See money, oh, small something. This is 300,000. Come on, guys, let me go and do small shopping for my kids, my mother in law, and my mom. Oh my god, you guys will chop my money. Come go chop my money. Got it? Let me go and spend some cash on you. 
Oga, if you pay you, come Ghana. Eh? If you pay <laughs> If this video pay you, come to Ghana. Eh? Book your flight. Come to Ghana. Come and shop. You wanna go? This will not be Nigerian material. Oh, more. Uh, see, make I turn the camera. We just passed the fortune house in Ghana. When I tell people that uh, there's something special about Ghana, when you come to Ghana, there's this joy you have in you that you are in Ghana. When you come to Ghana, when you arrive in Ghana, when you step your two feet in Ghana, there is this joy, inner joy you have in you. Forgetting that, oh, this is an African country, but there is this joy that you can't explain that you have in you. And that is what every foreigner that have been coming to Ghana have. They still have the same joy that, oh, Ghana is beautiful, Ghana is peaceful. Their mind becomes settled whenever they're in Ghana. And when they meet the locals, the locals are not discriminating. They welcome you with open hands. And if you don't speak to they are okay with it. They don't insult you. They wouldn't take the advantage that, oh, you're a foreigner and want to, like, extort you of your money. Just like where I come from, if you're a foreigner and you're not careful, oh, until love, it has gone. They extort you of your money. So, but Ghana is one country that everyone wants to visit. Ghana is one country that people... My, even my own country, people, my Nigerian people want to visit Ghana. They want to have a taste of Ghana. They want to come and sit down and, you know, take pictures in Ghana and showcase to people, I am in Ghana. I have arrived though. I am in a crowd. <laughs> that is how Nigerians feel when they come to Ghana. You see some Nigerians, they'll be like, wow, wow. Is this Ghana? Is this Ghana? Is this Ghana? Am I in South Africa? Just like this lady. She was just screaming, hey, this place is giving me South African vibe. You know, that is what uh, feelings most of my people, not just my people, even the white people that are in advanced country, when they come to Ghana here, an African country, they'll be surprised at how developed this country is. Ghana that, that was one time a small country, ordinary Ghana, Ghana of yesterday, People are trooping into Ghana, Ghana to come and enjoy. People are trooping into Ghana to come and take pictures and flaunt on the face of their friends. I have been to Ghana. I am in Ghana. That is what most people are doing. And I'm super glad that Ghana has advanced and Ghana is advancing the more because the people of Ghana don't want their country to be stagnant. They are detesting for more and the governments are trying their best to give them more. Even though Ghanaians feel that the governments are not trying their best, but they will continue agitating and the government will keep on listening to them because when people come down to their country and eh, when people come down to ghana and they are seeing these beautiful infrastructures they are seeing how beautiful the road is they will scream they'll be surprised that ah, is this ghana Charlie? it be gonna be this they'll be surprised but this is actually ghana this is not south africa this is not switzerland this is not australia this is africa and this is ghana and this is made in ghana i don't know what you guys think about this video because to me i am not surprised by the lady's action seeing ghana for the first time and uh actions and the way she was screaming and shouting i cry i'm going to the market making videos about it i am not surprised because a lot of people will still come down here and still scream more than this lady the last time I went to make a video in the uh, Black Star Square. I saw a lot of Nigerians in, the, in their shops. Room. They came down here to view the Black Star Square, to view the monument. They went to Kwame and Kuma Museum. They were surprised that how do those people keep their, 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 their culture? They still keep everything intact. Everything is still well placed. Everywhere is still like a tourist attraction center for people to come and view. And I saw some, some Nigerians. They were even asking me to make interviews with them, but I don't want to. So I even waiting for me, I was interviewing some people, they were waiting for me to come and interview them. I even lost most of my videos in that place because the videos deleted from my phone, I couldn't post some. You see, most Nigerians, when they come down here, not just Nigerians, foreigners, Uyubo, Uyubo people and Ghana are like five and six. If they see Ghana, like if they hear Ghana, hey, the first thing that comes to their mind is to pack their bag and jack back to Ghana. I don't know 
what you guys think about this video please give the video a thumbs up like comment and share a lot of you have been watching my video what have i done you're not liking this video if you are not subscribing to my channel please take me down to 6,000 subscribers like turn the post notification to get notified whenever i post amazing content see you guys in my next video see me your girl mommy a bye